Let that coffee brew, let that air burn Meditating on my past and the lessons learned Wanna live life, wanna find me Wanna read the impressions of society Let that coffee brew, let that air burn Meditating on the past and the lessons learned Just wanna live life, just wanna be me Just wanna break these chains and become free Peace Peace, 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 peace. Peace to everybody out there. Peace to everybody listening. I'd like to welcome y'all to another episode of Talks with Mert, where we discuss mental health, emotions, spirituality, and the everyday trials of being a human being. Talks inspired by my own personal experiences and conversations I used to have with my mama. And um, I'm your host, Mert Son. And y'all can follow me on Instagram at uh, myrts underscore son. Uh, you can follow the podcast um, at Talks with Mert uh, to stay updated. And if you're listening to us on Apple Music, uh, please like, share, comment, um, rate us. Um, if you love it, if we inspired you or you felt anything from the show, um, definitely show some love. Uh, tell some new listeners about me. <laughs> but um, hope y'all feeling good. Hope y'all had a fabulous week. Um, me, man, I've been having some real... Uh, discussions with myself um asking myself some real questions about my life and where I want to go um what do I want um that's been the question that's been ringing in my head on the last couple of weeks since the last time I spoke to y'all um it's been heavy on my mind um what do you want what do you want and it's crazy because um um, the pandemic, Corona and everything going on, um, the quarantine, um, I really benefited from it. Um, I benefit from it a lot. Um, I got a lot from it. Um, because, you know, a lot of us was just forced to sit down with ourselves and forced to figure out different ways to grow, uh, grow what you're doing on um, your business or your art or your craft or whatever you got going on. Like you got that time now to sit down and you know, sit with yourself to figure that out. And marketing was something that I was lacking in uh, when it came to my music and when it came to pushing my photography business. Um, I could be a lot better at marketing. So during this sit down um, with the quarantine and everything that's going on with Corona, man, I was able to lock in on that. And I seen like great improvement in numbers and me getting paid and Y'all listening to me, people checking out the music. Um, Y'all check out the music when you get the chance. Got three albums out. Um, Got a single dropping this Friday. But definitely good music for your soul. Um, But I had to get back on my marketing. Um, I've been on it hard, studying how it works. I'm finding out who my audience is, who's listening to me. Um, I've been finding out a lot of things about myself. (coughs) Excuse me, finding out a lot of things about myself that I can use to grow as a person and as an artist and and every different other aspects of my life. And it's been real beneficial for me. I've seen a lot of growth throughout this time. Um, Business has been good for me. Um, People have been listening to the music. But I think that I got too caught up in the moment that I had lost sight on what I want and I didn't realize it um I had a couple of my brothers over um and we were sitting down that's why it's important to have good friends around you people who are going to inspire you people who are going to open up your mind to you know different ways of thinking or remind yourself of different ways of thinking that you've left um you know, it's good to have these kind of people around you because we sitting down and we just talking about, you know, performing and doing our music and, um, you know, really growing our art. And one of my homies was like, yeah, because, you know, I don't want to be, you know, doing, you know, X and X amounts of shows a week. You know, I, I got to be with my family. So and I was like, man, and it just wired me. It's like I heard another voice come from somewhere. It was like, what do you want? What do you want? And it had been so long since I have thought about that because during this time, everything has been in the moment. 
Uh, we've been shut down momentarily. Everybody's shut down and the world is on pause until further notice. Um, you know, trying to sit around and see what's going on. So I noticed that I had kind of did that as well with, you know, the bigger picture of my dreams. I hadn't thought about it. I hadn't seen it in so long because I've been worrying about the grind now. You know, how can I get, you know, more listeners now? How can I, you know, find different ways to bring in different clientele here? You know, different ways to grow I haven't really thought about my big dream and my bigger picture and how I want things to do because the grind was so momentarily. And um, I didn't realize it. And I lost track of that thing. And when I heard that little voice, <laughs> wherever it came from, when I heard it, um, I couldn't take my mind off of that question. Uh, what do you want? And I just started thinking about my life um, and how I need to move. Um, I started thinking about because I work a nine to five right now and I got to get off that nine to five. Like uh, when I speak in my affirmations now, I be like, I don't work a nine to five. I work for myself. I'm out here moving for myself. I'm creating for myself. Everything about me is from me. This is how I live. So and that's how I speak about my life. So um, I was like, you know, I had to think about what I want. So. You don't work a nine to five anymore, Mert, son. So what are you doing with this time on your hands now? You know, I was thinking about my life to the very detail, you know, of that. And um, all the way down to that smallest detail, I was sitting there just thinking about that. What am I going to be doing during this time that this extra eight hours that I have on my hands now, you know, what is it that I want to do with this music? Um, how often do I want to be traveling and performing? Um, when I'm going to be traveling and performing? When am I going to be doing photography? Um, when am I going to be with my family and my kids? Like, how do I want my life to be? I hadn't thought about that in so long. Because um, you got to. You got to fix your mind to be what you want it to be, the life that you want to live. You got to put, you got to see it in your head before, so you can, you can work towards it. So you can build around it. You can build up to it. So, um, I hadn't done that in so long and I'm glad I did because it was some things that I see differently now than I have before. I want to move different. Um, I want to do stuff different with the music, with the, with the photography business, with, um, the type of people that I want to work with, um, just everything that got to do with my career. Um, it was just looking so much clearer and I hadn't thought about it in so long. And I kind of started panicking this week because I was like, oh, man, like I seen the vision and it reminded myself of the vision. And I got this this little frantic uh, feeling in my chest was like, man, like oh, I got to start working. I got to get building. I was like, nah, man, like calm yourself down, bro. Like. You're good. You just keep building the way you've been building and the dream will come. And um, I kept thinking to myself every time I see the bigger picture in my head that I'm supposed to be there tomorrow. Or I'm supposed to be there tomorrow night um, when I already know that's going to take time. I always say the big vision, the empire that I'm building in my head, that I'm building here. You know, I've seen it in my head. I know that's going to take time. It's going to take years to build, but I have to remind myself of that when I start feeling that anxiety. Um, so all of this kind of rushed and hit me this week um, about what I want. And that's been a serious question for myself. And I always tell people I was talking to another brother of mine um, yesterday. I was telling him about, you know, the vision. It all starts with the vision. Um, when you, once you get it in your head, you got to start working towards it. You got to start building towards it. Everything that you that you working on got to be working towards that vision so you can get it, so you can achieve it, so you can be there. Um, the visions that I have of doing my music and having my own businesses and, you know, building this generational wealth that I want, all these things, like, 
I do that by doing and using the things that I love. So how can I use these things that I love to bring about this generational wealth that I want? That's one thing that I want within myself. I want to bring that to my family. So how can I use the things that I love, that I'm passionate about, to bring wealth to my family? You know what I'm saying? So all the moves that I'm making and these ideas and these things that I'm putting into place, got to start building towards that. You know, some more questions I was asking myself this week. I was like, man, um, how to make money when you're not working or how to make money when you're asleep? How can you make the things that you love work like that for you? And the reason I keep putting emphasis on things that I love, because I already learned that. You know, later on in life when I can wear different hats at one time, but I don't want to put too much on my plate. I got a couple things that I'm really, really, really good at that I'm building with and I'm working off of. And those are going to be the two things that bring me this this dream um, that I'm building in my head. But me having that sit down with myself this week. Uh, reminded me of everything that that is and um it reminded me of just so so much like um this life that we're we're blessed with we can go out and use this life do with this life whatever we want and um society and you know people around us family friends uh pastors Everybody that's around you or, you know, they got some kind of influence to try to tell you what's right and what's wrong on how you sh- you want to live your life. And but that's something that you got to decide for yourself is, you know, what do you want to do with your life? I used to have this thing with myself because that's why I changed my artist name to Mert Son and. That's why I name albums after my ancestors. All the music that I release, I release them on my ancestors' birthdays because I live and honor my ancestors. And at one point, I was so caught up in, you know, building a brand and building a name for myself. I was, I kept thinking about me too much. Like, um, you know, I keep talking about my mama and my brother so much that I ain't talking about me and I felt some kind of way about that and I was like you know why do you feel some kind of way about that and I felt some kind of way about that because I was thinking about what other people might think about when they listen to my music or they listen to me talk or you know they're in the same room or the same building that I'm in you know they're going oh man they're going to be that's all he talk about that's all he talk about you know but on the other hand this is my damn life. Like, <laughs> and I can do with my life whatever I want to. Not that no one has said anything about, you know, the way I, I, I live my ancestors. It's just the thoughts and uh, the limits that we put on ourselves. This was the thoughts that I was having with myself that was keeping me from, you know, blossoming the way that I can, you know, spiritually. So, you know, when I came to this realization that that is part of my life, that is my life. My ancestors is my life and whatever I do and everything that I do, I can honor them and not feel no kind of way about it at all and do it all out of love. And that's all that matter, you know, because my ancestors, you know, my mama, my brother, my grandma, my grandpa, um, they the foundation of me who i am is them you know my good morals you know respecting people treating people right making people feel good knowing how to make somebody feel welcome um all the good qualities that i have of of being a good human being and this stand-up guy you know i get that from them how they raised me how they taught me you know things they put into me what they've molded me into. Um, That's my foundation. They've given that to me. That's something that cannot break. That's a part of me that that can't go anywhere. 
You know what I'm saying? They left me in this life. They left me physically, but they left me with this foundation. This foundation that can't nothing break me. You know, can't nothing hold me back. I can go out here and do whatever I want. Um, especially as long as you got good character. You know, I had somebody was telling me yesterday that they had gotten a bad situation and they got out of the situation because of how because of character, how they was during the situation. And I was like, character would take you so, so far, you know, that was taught to me by my people, you know. And, of course, I developed some on my own, but, you know, those are the type of things that I cherish to them. And for them, I thank them. And with this damn life that I have, I'm going to use it to lift their names and every chance that I can and every chance that I get. Um, And that's what I'm building my empire off of. You know, it's important. And, man, but these are the talks and the conversations that, I had to sit down and have with myself this week. Um, It's just how am I going to go about living my life? And it really starts with a vision. I had a vision when I was sitting down talking to myself. (laughs) I do it all the time. (laughs) When I'm sitting down and talking to myself and the little desk that I work at, um, at work, I just seen it getting smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller in my head. And then, I didn't see it anymore. Um, It was gone. And to me, you know, that just tells me to keep working. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep going out here doing what you have to do, what you want to do, regardless of what society or regardless of what anyone or anything um, has to say about it or, or any of that. You have to go out here and do what you want to do. This is your life. Can't nobody tell you how to live it. Um, But I'm going to go back to, you know, knowing what you want. Because once you realize what you want, you got to work for it. And I always speak about tools, different tools in life. I think that everything in this life is a tool that you're supposed to use to get you to the next phase in your life or You know, to get you closer to God or to get you to a different opportunity. Like everything is a tool in this life. I think that, you know, nothing is to be taken so seriously to where, you know, it's taking claim over your life. But once I get my mind on what I want, which I came out here, I came out here with my little notebook. And I was out here talking to myself and thinking to myself and I wrote down everything I want, like happiness, being healthy, wanting to travel, uh, building generational wealth, um, you know, my own personal dreams and empires that I want to build with the record label and, you know, with our team and um, my business, just everything, everything that I wanted to build, you know. I had to think about how to get it. So I was like, how do you get happiness, healthy, um, traveling good and building generational wealth? I do that by using, you know, the tools that I've been blessed with, with my voice, the microphone and and my camera. Those are my tools to go out here and do my thing with. Those are what I'm good at. You know, that's my arena. With those things, can't nobody tell me anything because a lot of it I've taught myself. I have to go out here and grind for it myself, and I take pride in that. Um, I'm learning to take pride in that. Um, I've come a long way because I used to just didn't look at the things that I'm great at as, as tools like this. I know how to use them. I thought just because I'm good at it that it's a talent and I can't put it to work because I'm not going to be in love with it anymore. And, you know, thinking about like that. But, you know, I always see the quote, you know, if you love it, it's never work. You know, you're just doing it and it's working for you. And that's how I plan to use these things. But, man, knowing what I want has been on my mind hard these last couple of weeks. And I just thought that I'd come and talk to you all about it. So if it was anybody out there. It just needed some direction. Um, I feel in this life, whatever you make of your life, 
you got to know what you want from it. You got to know, you know, how to achieve it. You got to see it and, you know, believe you can go out there and get it. But I appreciate y'all listening to me this week. Um, I told you these episodes, they be more focused and talking about one thing. So they be shorter sometimes. But I got that off my chest and I got a little bit more clarity on some things that I had been thinking about as well. And I hope I shed light to somebody out there. But any change you want to see in your life, um, it begins with self. Believe in yourself. Be patient with yourself. And watch yourself blossom. I'm your boy Murray, son. And peace. Until next time. Let that coffee brew, let that air burn Meditating on my past and the lessons learned Wanna live life, wanna find me Wanna read the impressions of society Let that coffee brew, let that air burn Meditating on the past and the lessons learned Just wanna live life, just wanna be me Just wanna break these chains and become free